What's up you guys? Adam here, welcome back to 2740 Solutions. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If it's your second, third, fourth time back, appreciate you guys coming back. If you guys enjoy the content so far, consider liking the video, let's hop right into it. So, update on the S209. This is a one to 20 scale of my S209 that is currently levitating in the garage, similar to this. It's just minus the wheels in the garage. So, we got the S209 in the garage. The wheels are cool, but they're not cool enough. They're forged BBSs. Uh, 19 by, I believe, 9.5s or 9s. Um, they're 265 tires on them. Anyway, Battleborn Coatings, a local shop here that did the CA wheels. They turned them from silver, kind of old man spec, to their custom uh, shop black, two, two coats of their black powder coat. And uh, it looked amazing. Increased the value of the car by thousands of dollars. Appreciate that. They are working on turning these wheels the correct color. So if you know anything about Subarus, you can probably figure out what color these wheels are gonna be turning. So, very excited to see those. Should be early next week, so probably Monday, Tuesday I get those back. We'll move this on over, back to its spot. So, um, that segues nicely into what is in this box. Full transparency, I already know what's in here because I already filmed this video one time. However, uh, my GoPro Max, which is a $500 GoPro, is being pretty finicky. So appreciate that GoPro, uh, but we're gonna work through it. It's uh, past midnight on a Friday night, but we're still making this video. So I've already opened this, I already know what's in here. So basically Chevy sent me a kind of a postcard looking thing, and then also this box, and it has my 2020 Corvette C8 welcome kit inside. So we're gonna pop this open. We'll check out the welcome letter real quick. Remember this came separately in a uh, kind of a postcard style. So basically, it's just a thank you note saying, Dear Adam, congratulations on being one of the first owners of the all-new mid-engine 2020 Corvette. The mid-engine 2020 Corvette is more than just a redesigning or re-engineering. It is a reimagining of what Corvette has always been and more importantly, where it is, where it is going. Bringing mid-engine performance and handling to the Corvette is the culmination of eight generations of performance excellence and fulfills Corvette's ultimate destiny as a world-class driver's car. Owning a Corvette is an experience unlike anything else. It is our privilege to welcome you to the Corvette family, although I've already been in the Corvette family, had two before that. Uh, be on the lookout for your official Corvette welcome kit, which is this, which will arrive soon. Enjoy your new Corvette. Sincerely, the U.S. Vice President of Chevrolet Marketing, Steve Majoros, or Majoros, however you want to pronounce that. Apologize on that one. So that was pretty cool. Has this nice little Stingray kind of, you know, blacked out logo. It's kind of all the rage these days, black on black. I uh, got another, so this is the voucher to the Corvette Driving School, uh, which is in Nevada. It is the Ron Fellows Performance Driving School at the Spring Mountain Motor Resort and Country Club in Nevada. So this is my my ticket there. I also have quite a few vouchers to go to a couple other performance driving schools with the 2019 Corvette that I bought and the two Supras that I bought and the Ford Raptor. So I got a couple window stickers here. This is for the RAV4. The other window stickers are over there. I actually framed them so I'm trying to get them all framed. Um, in the process of just putting them in some like $8 frames. I'm gonna make them a uh, wall sticker. These are some of the gold cars up here. But anyway, we'll uh, redeem that in the future. And let's get into this actual box right here. So uh, we'll just kind of upend this right here. Boom, black box. See you later. Same deal, nice blacked out, kind of that carbon flash deal. Get a little, little shine there. Open it on up. And I already knew it was in here, but uh, basically it came with the kind of like paint to sample looking model. Um, this is kind of what I've seen for a lot of super luxury, like uh, Shmi 150 kind of reminds me, or this reminds me of his channel when he gets his cars like paint to sample. They give him uh, kind of cars that look like this. Although this has some, some body lines in it, which is pretty cool, pretty cool but I can actually pull it out right here. Um, so yeah, so basically uh, it is magnetic, so it can fall off if I totally, um, you know, totally let it go. But yeah, so again, has some pretty cool body lines to it. 
Uh, it even has like, you know, the, the rear engine kind of deal here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it also has the, the number plaque right here. And yeah, so I'm gonna pop that back on. It is going to hang out next to the S209. So you guys can go ahead and check that out right there. So the S209 model and then the C8 as well. We'll go ahead and put this back in for now. Um, I just wanna update you guys on what I just tried in the garage, because I already thought I filmed the video. So I was pretty much done for that. I wanna try something out real quick. Um, what I ended up doing was I looked up the bolt pattern for the S209 and I looked up the bolt pattern for the wheels on the TRD off-road and they were the same. They're five by 114.3. Um, so I said, oh, okay, maybe I can go to Cars and Coffee tomorrow here in Clarksville with the TRD off-road wheels on the S209. However, the offset was not even close. The STI, the S209 has some massive brake calipers, especially up front. It's six piston calipers up front. They are beefy to say the least. So um, I took one of the TRD wheels off of the RAV4 and I tried to put it on the S209 and it wasn't even close. I, I didn't even get it seated. As soon as I lined up the lugs, I saw that just the way that the offset worked and um, it just, it wasn't gonna work. So to my dismay, I'll probably just take the RAV4 tomorrow. I'll drop Meg at the farmer's market uh, here in Clarksville and then I'll probably head to, uh, head to Cars and Coffee to see what I can see. Maybe I'll take a couple videos for you guys and uh, splice them together. We'll see what happens, but um, check us out on Instagram. I'll probably post some cool, cool pictures on there tomorrow. But the biggest reason you should follow us on Instagram is I'm going to be announcing the competition for um, the month of July tomorrow. I'll be announcing that tomorrow, Saturday. And it will the, the prize is gonna be a two day free rental of one of my two rental cars. I have the Dodge Charger Daytona and I have the 2019 Corvette Grand Sport. So I'll be announcing that tomorrow and then it will run through July and I'll announce the winner of that on July 31st. So uh, it would be who of you to follow us on Instagram. So you can also get that announcement there. And then you're going to need Instagram and YouTube to go ahead and execute that challenge to give yourself the best chance of getting that free two day rental for one of my rental cars. So uh, with that being said, if you haven't gotten your free stocks yet with Weeble, remember you get one free stock for signing up and then the next free stock valued up to $1,400 for depositing your first $100 with the app. Uh, Tesla is still trading at about $1,500 plus or minus. I think it's a little above right now. So no free Tesla stock. Sorry about that. Uh, I really wish I bought into Tesla back when I was on the fence about it, when it was about $700, $750, but you know, should have, would have, could have, no regrets. So um, if you guys appreciate content like this, feel free to like uh, this video and then subscribe. Also share it with your friends. If you enjoy, you know, checking out this niche stuff right here, um, obviously, I'm gonna to be tossing wheels back on the S209. We're gonna do a full review of every car that I have. Uh, it's just rentals are hot right now. So the, you know, the Charger is literally booked solid this month. And then the Corvette has been pretty booked as well. So tough to get them long enough to do a review, but we'll get it for you. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Stay safe, stay positive, you know, get to work, keep it going. Uh, even, even though these times are crazy. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.